What's going on guys and welcome back to another episode in my Football Manager Save. This is episode number 20. And today we're returning to massive games with Bournemouth as we chase European football for next season. We're at home to Aston Villa and away against Leeds in what could be a winner takes European football battle. Before we get to the games though, shout out to Cherry's been getting on off camera. And also another youth intake as well. Isha. Think about the youth intakers, right? Like I've I've said this before, like nobody really expects to get a class of '92 every single season. You know, no, no one really expects that. But it's like you expect like one a save, like one player coming through that probably makes it. I've I've, I've, I've done like seven YouTube saves, probably more than that. Thinking about it, I've only ever had two players in all this time. Anyway, sod it. Right, uh, last episode you saw our 2 0 loss uh, away against West Ham and then the 1 0 victory over Luton in the Premier League and three games off camera one win, one draw, one loss. And that sort of sums up the season, really. Inconsistent. Uh, we have a 2 1 win uh, away against Fulham. Uh, we won against Fulham 2 1, which I just said a moment ago now. And uh, Fulham are renegade, by the way. Like Fulham, Fulham, have, Fulham have just been shocking this year. But uh, I, I played the same system I played against Luton, that four-three-three tiki-taka, pass to death type of tactic. And uh, Duvan Zapata, three goals in two for Duvan Zapata. Uh, yet bad the brace in this one, whilst Kenny Tater did get a goal as well. We still managed to get the win by two goals to one. And following that, uh, three-nil loss at home to Arsenal, uh, who just won the Carabao Cup by the way. Uh, lost by three goals to nil. Um, I, I keep repeating myself here. I keep repeating myself here. Um, Emil Smith-Rowe scored the first cla cracking free kick from Smith-Rowe. Absolutely cracking. Um, Gabriel Jesus got the second and uh, Martin Eddie got the first as the Brazilian Gabriel scored two in the 3-0 victory there. And our final game off camera was a 1-1 draw uh, away against Manchester City. And what a result this was as well. I played the 5-3-2 counter-attacking system. I said this before. I played this in the games where I expect to lose, especially when we're away from home because you don't tend to concede as much much with a much sort of like um much more structured back five and if you get one chance and you take it you just never know it's exactly what happened Harlan scored man to its goal to get in front but Dominic Solanke connected with a Nando's through ball as we found a level and held on for the point absolutely buzzing with that result there that was a much better result than I was uh, expecting against Manchester City so uh, this is the lead table right there's five games to go it's tight it's really really tight right now Spurs going for the title neck and neck with Chelsea right now and Arsenal and Man Schneider only just behind got the game in hand as well. Man City and Liverpool still technically have a chance of getting the title. Forget the top six, that's gone. Forget all about that. Now it's all about seventh place, but it's very tight indeed. I'd say going all the way down to West Ham in 11th, there's still a chance they could possibly claim it. But realistically, the three teams are the best shot. Us lead to a two points clear and Newcastle. No one's got any games in hand. Newcastle lost four in their last five. We're above them on goal difference. It's incredibly tight. That's why that Leeds game today is absolutely massive. Yeah, so Arsenal, uh, Carabao Cup winners, Eddie and Ketia scoring the game winner extra time there. Um, Chelsea youngster, Eddie and Ketia. A lot of people forget about that. Uh, came through the Arsenal Academy, yes, but uh, for his very, very early years, he was on the books of Chelsea. But uh, anyway, what, what's this? What's going on here? Is that right? There we go. Um, yeah, uh, I don't know what that was. First game today, uh, Aston Villa at home. Uh, right now in mid -tail. They've got nothing to play for. They're saved. The bottom three is basically set now already. Leicester are going down. Southampton have pulled a mad one. They've pulled a rabbit out of the hat in this second half of the season. Leicester are going down. Luton have already been relegated. And Fulham are basically down as well. So yeah, first game, Aston Villa. Nothing for them to play for. Inconsistent run for Bournemouth, yes, in an inconsistent season. But if we can win this game and then beat Leeds, I reckon we're going to do it, you know. I reckon we're going to do it. Heading into the game, uh, Brooks is down for the rest of the season. Broke his foot, won't see him again for the rest of the year. We might actually never see him again in the Bournemouth shirt, you know. He's only got one year left of this deal. I don't know if I'm going to extend it. We all love David Brooks. Everybody loves David Brooks, obviously. But I don't know if I'm going to extend it. I can't release him on a free, can I? No, I surely can't do that. Well, anyway, we'll see what happens there. But uh, Petrina, uh, also spits a block in training as well. Twisted knee, so we won't play this game. And that is that. So, ending the game, uh, it's our 4-3-3 free free Gigan Press system. This is our team. Georgie between the sticks. Back for his Walker, Peters, Kelly. Garza, who, by the way, was uh, listed number 26 in the top 50 next-gen wonder kids in world football. 
That's his squad number as well. Interesting. Uh, Aaron's right back and the midfield trio is Blanco, McTominay and Alex Scott. Traore on the left, Tavernier on the right and Solanke leading that line. 20 goals this season now, Dom. On the bench, uh, Travers, Mefum, Zabani, Nandes, Forsby, Lerma, Cook, Jenkins and Zapata as well. I don't know I said that like that. Anyway, first game, Aston Villa at home. If we don't win this, it's going to be tough. But if we do win this, I mean, it's still going to be tough. Uh, come on, come on, you charities. <laughs> No, I'm in such a good mood today. I just am. I guess because continental qualification is a possibility. It's cheering me up. After what has to be fair, been quite a depressing week. I'm not going to lie. Started off really poorly. Anyway, uh, first highlight coming to Aston Villa. And Jacob Ramsey is through. And Jacob Ramsey makes it one. Do you not understand how low my mood has been, Jacob? Can you not give me this? You've got nothing to play for. Blanco through to Tavernier. Poor first touch out. But Aaron Hickey has a worse first touch. Tavernier dinks one to the edge. McTominay's header in slow motion almost crept in off the woodwork. And Aston Villa clear. Come on, boys. Can't lose this game. We've got Leeds next weekend. That's absolutely massive. We can't go into that, potentially. Dropping to ninth and being well behind in the race. Not happy with that. Not happy one bit. Really poor that. I'm going to, now I very rarely throw the water, but I haven't done it since the save began. <laughs> I was just throw it violently across the room. How else are you going to throw it? Throw it gently. Throw a water bottle gently across the room. Yeah, that'll get a reaction out of your players. Um, <laughs> before you think you've got arthritis or something. Um, right, let's say, uh, hands on hips, nice feminine stance. I'm disappointed, lads. I'm disappointed. We can do better than this. No change to the tactics, at least because they are. Solanke has been really inconsistent in this second half season. And Tav, what's happened to Tav? What's happened to Tav? Season one, the guy was a blinder. Since then, oh, I just, I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. Yes, Alex Scott, that's what I want to see. That's, that's what I want to see in the second half. More fight, more urgency, lads. That's what we want to see there. And now Aaron's into Alex Scott, who won it back initially and skips round one down the right. Now we need a teammate. He's got one in Max, who floated across and Solanke hits the bar. And Aston Villa clear away for a court. That's more like it, lads. I'll praise them after a good start to this second half. Keep it going, boys. We can find this leveler. Let's go to attacking in our mentality. Uh, let's also play at a higher tempo as well. They'll still counter pressing, but distribute the ball quicker as well. We pressing as much as we can. Yeah, let's, let's hire the defensive lineup now as well and really get Aston Villa on their toes, high up the pitch. 24 minutes. We can still do this. 17 minutes on the clock, still down by a goal as Scott sends it along for Tav. Uh, Marcus steps inside to shoot and fires it over. What has happened to Tav in the air? He was, he was so good back in season one, but now he's, he's lost it. He's absolutely lost it. 12 minutes to go. We've gone a more attack. We've had a good second half, to be fair. We have had a good second half, but the finishing just hasn't been there. Is there time to salvage a point here against Villa? Gaza, Scott, dispossessed by the goal scorer, Jacob Ramsey. And here come the visitors. Josh Sargent to Ollie Watkins. Lovely ball through. That's a pen. Kelly takes down Jacob Ramsey. That's a pen. Checking on VAR, but it's, it's pretty much always a pen. The only time I ever see it not be a pen is if it's a, uh, a tight call where it's in the area or outside the area. But Josh Sargent, to wrap the game up, does just that. Tune in Aston Villa. They've got nothing to play for and they're going to come away with a 2-0 win. Jeez, lads, honestly, this is poor. This is really poor. I was looking at Leeds game. I was thinking, that's, that's massive. We'll win this game. That Leeds game's massive. Going to lose this. So Pat has through, though. Great through ball. Got a finish. And he does. He trickles it home. 2-1, 9 for the year for Zapata. I wish he was staying. It was a class little counter attack that as well, wasn't it? You know I love those. Uh, let's go FIFA football now and just send those uh, fullbacks up a little bit further on the pitch if the game lets me. And uh, see so we can possibly, possibly, possibly salvage a, uh, a late point. But I'm, I'm pessimistic. Going to bring on Jenkins for uh, Tav down the right because he's been utter shit. And uh, see if we can get ourselves a point. There is a chance here. Two minutes to go to salvage a point. It's Max Harris to the kid. Jenkins. And back to Lloyd Kelly as we push for an equaliser. And it could be crucial with how tired it is in the season. McTominay keeps holding the ball. Back to the captain. And this is it now. Last chance saloon. Traore. Solanke. Jenkins. Paul Jenkins. Two to... Oh, no. Was it offside? No, come on, VAR. Don't do it to the kid. Is he on? Yes! Paul Jenkins. First goal in a Bournemouth shirt. Vicario fumbles Solanke. Said, uh, 
and Jenkins. He was on loan in League Two. He scored one goal all season there, and he's just popped up with a level as we've had that from 2 0 to make it 2 2. I'm keeping the tactics as it is here, just in case we get a late chance. We don't, but we will claim the point. I'll take it. I'll take it. A late fight back, a late rally. 2-2 to the final score. All things considered, I'll have that. Speaking of youth players, um, right now, the, the the two or maybe three best we've got here. Well, here's one. This is Paul Jenkins. You'll remember him from season one with that 20 determination. You'll love to see that. Well, is he on loan again? Oh, Cambridge. Yeah, Cambridge United. One goal all season long. <laughs> I just remembered that. His loan was coming to an end in January. In FM, you can, like, propose a loan extension. <laughs> so I said to Cambridge... He wasn't getting paid. I said to Cambridge, you want to keep him? And they were like, nope. <laughs> you don't even have to pay him, lads. You can just keep him. They were like, nope. Not having him. Um, what's that youth intake? Oh, yeah, the youth intake. Um, who was who was that bloke we had in the uh, the youth can? Who, oh, there he is. Tendai Moyo. He's, he's the best one. He's the best one so far. He could be all right. Uh, born in England, but uh, Zimbabwe, secondary nationality. He, he could be okay, but uh, there's obviously a, a very... Very long way to go. Is there anyone else that looked pretty decent? I don't think there was. Chadley Hopkinson. Unambitious personality to determination. Yeah, I can't see him making it somehow. Here's Jenkins for the championship. That is the 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 like I'm I'm uh, I'm an NBA fan, but I don't really know much about college basketball. But like that is like the the only college basketball thing that I can repeat in my mind. That must have been the greatest feeling in the world for that guy. Chris Jenkins of uh, Villanova, I think it was. Buzzer beater in the championship final. Unbelievable. Oh, dear. Oh, shit, hang on. Uh, Newcastle are in the FA Cup this weekend. So that means that... Um, that, that obviously means that they'll, they'll have a game in hand, won't they? So they'll have... What am I doing there? They'll have a game in hand. Leeds... Who did Leeds play? Who did Leeds play this weekend? They didn't play either. Are Leeds in the FA Cup as well? Are they in the semis as well? Oh, look at that. They've got Brighton on Wednesday night. Blimey. So, uh, do you know what that means as well? If if, if uh, one of Leeds or Newcastle make it through to the FA Cup final, seventh will go. Oh, no. Because the runners-up get the uh, thingy, don't they? They get the... Um, he looks bloody good, him. They get the... Uh, oh, hello. They get the uh, Europe Conference League. If they're runners-up, I think. Hold on. Newcastle played as well, didn't they, in the uh, in the semi-final on, on this weekend, I think. So did they? Did they make it through? Uh, now it's the quarters. Did they make it through to the uh, to the final? Oh no! Oh, I'm gutted because it, even if it's not runners up, obviously Leeds or Newcastle, one of them winning it means that it won't matter. Seven point count. Please, Brighton. Please, Brighton. Please get that win. Give us that glimmer of hope. We could still. Ah, oh, fuck it. It's typical, isn't it? The one season where we might do something significant. Knocked out with a whimper in the FA Cup quarter final last sixteen. And, and now, because it's going to be a Leeds-Newcastle final, how typical is that? Seventh goes officially now, because the winners of the FA Cup guarantee a European spot. So seventh is officially gone now. Seventh is officially gone. Ugh. Well, we ain't going to catch six, so it's over now. Mate, I'm gutting about that. Like, I mean, let's be honest here, we probably weren't going to make it anyway. But um, gen genuine chance we could have possibly snuck into seventh. Can you imagine European football to vitality next year? Not going to happen now, though. Um, bloody FA Cup. How did... Uh, I'm getting annoyed about Newcastle beating Liverpool. But then again, considering their rise, it's not really that, it's not that much of a shock, is it? Well done, Everton, though. Newcastle beat Man City. Oh, come on, Man City. Um, oh, it's so tight. It doesn't matter, though. Why am I Why am I sitting here like, oh, it doesn't matter. It, it doesn't matter anymore. Seventh doesn't mean anything now. Right then, final game leads away. Obviously now basically means nothing. We still want to finish in the top 10 to end the season off. And a win, I think, guarantees that as well. So let's just make sure we do it. And at the very, very least, just finish strong. And what has been, to be fair, our best season of the save so far. Let's not give up now. So, yep, uh, heading into the game, it'll stay with a 4 for 3 A couple of changes. Uh, Georgie still between the sticks. Back four now. Kelly at left back. Garza, Zabani and Aaron's with Blanco with Tomlin and Scott for the middle. Baterina comes back on the left. Treore's on the right. And Solanke leading the line. On the bench, Travers, Mefford. Um, yeah, Senesi. Senesi, Walker Peters. Oh, I forgot I had the. Um, sorry, I forgot I put these last name on the 21s. Uh, Andy Appen. So, Senesi, Walker Peters, Andy Appen. Forsby, Cook, Tav, Jenkins, and Zapata as well. Second and final game. Gutted, man. This is supposed to be the game where like, the winner could get Europe in the end. Well, Leeds know they're going to get it now, probably, and we've got nothing. I'm trying to work out if there's still a way that 7th could give you European football, but. 
I mean, Arsenal won the Carabao Cup, and that is Europe Conference League. And obviously, the FA Cup winner qualifies for the Europa League. Not the Europa, the Europa Conference League, but the Europa League. But Arsenal are going to finish in the top four anyway. So does that mean anything? I don't think it does. I really am clutching at straws here. But, um, I mean, we still have to win, like, our remaining four games anyway, which is going to be unlikely, especially if we go 1-0 down here, which we've done. Great ball by the Danish fullback to Gelhurt. What a strike as well. Rasmus Christensen, like Trent Alexander-Arnold. What a through ball that was. And Leeds have the lead. Yeah, I think I think we've given up. I think I think the boys are giving up. They they saw Leeds win that FA Cup semi final for sodness. <laughs> We're on holiday. We're on holiday. Oh, I'm gutted. I'm gu We're not supposed to be here though, man. That's the thing. We're not even supposed to be here right now. So let's not you know let, let's not write off what's been an amazing season anyway. I said this year mid table or top ten at best. We're gonna get that. So. You know, let's let's just let's just remember that, you know. Slow and steady, that's the mantra. And that's a red card, you know. That's a straight red, you know. Christensen's off. He might be Trent Alexander Arnold on the offensive end, but on the defensive end the problems are still there. One nil, what a chance now. Leeds are playing very, very narrow, so what I'm gonna do is stretch them out wide. Um play as wide as we can. Go down those flanks. Cause if we if we really, really want to here, we can um we can um, we can stretch them out and tire them out as well. Let's uh, let's cover every blade of grass on this pitch now. Then on road half time goal down. Show me something else in the second half, lads. We have got the man advantage. I'm trying to stretch leads a bit wider right now. I'm gonna go change our mentality to attacking as well. And I mind you what I did in the last game as well. Play the four two four like FIFA football here. Bring up the uh, the fullbacks to wing back. And uh, you know, let's, let's go asymmetrical as well. I used to be such a stickler. I used to hate asymmetrical systems. But nowadays, I've I've given up on the aesthetic side and just go for whatever nowadays. Uh, let's take off Blanco and uh, bring on Zapata as a target man as well. We can lump the balls up to him if need be. So, second half, down by a goal. But plenty of time here. Whole 45 minutes to go. Oh, God. If Leeds go tuning up with 10 men, that's embarrassing. That is embarrassing. Is that... Oh, God. We are nowhere near good enough for Europe yet. If we can't beat 10 men leads, forget it. I think this season in particular, we've made great steps forward. No doubt about that. Oh, it's no penalty. Wow, you don't see that very often, do you? No penalty. We've made great steps forward, but we're still we're still not there yet. I said this in the last episode. We, I think we're missing like one quality defender. And I, I definitely go a quality inside forward as well. Especially on that right-hand side. I don't want to replace Tav. I loved him in Season 1, but not so much now. Anyway, still down by a goal. Plenty of time, but we've, we've got to get some chances, man. I haven't, I haven't done enough here in this game. Not for my liking. And as Aaron's wins it back, half an hour to go. We get a goal here, and you just never know. Here's Lloyd, the captain, taking it over the halfway line. And Kelly slides through Solanke. Was he offside? He looked like he was a fraction offside there. Top bins, is it going to stand? VAR checks it and gives it. Now there's the leveller. Great driving forward by the skipper. Great through ball. I thought he was slightly offside there. Thankfully the VAR confirms it was on. It's 1-1. Here we go. Here we go. Going to encourage the boys after a strong start here. And let's see if we can find a goal to get in front and win this. Only a win will do here. Only a win will do because Newcastle still have the game in hand. So we've got to win this. Free kick. Brought a Bournemouth, which Batterina stands over. And the Croatian wonder kid whips one in. Burn, who's a wonder kid defender, heads it away. And now Garza finds Batterina. Messley, yeah. Just about got down on time. Come on, Bournemouth. Let's go very attacking. The draw is basically a defeat at this stage. We've had a great second half, to be fair. We're really going for this here. Zapata, dispossessed. Is that a pen? Is that a pen? Second time, he's off to look at the monitor. Off you trot, son. Take your time. Look at that one. That could be a penalty. Oh. Oh. <laughs> what did I say in the last game? Hey, you never really see those giving us no penalties. Like, normally, it's always a pen. Uh. Come on, Bournemouth. It's all Bournemouth right now. Solanke. Straight at the keeper. Jenkins. It's Jenkins time. Bring him on. Going for that buzzer beater. Uh, let's, uh, I, tell, I tell you what we're going to do as well. We're going to take off uh, Zabani. Uh, we'll have Kelly at LCB. Need the captain to stay on for the influence. But we'll bring on Walker Peters on that left-hand side. Zabani should pick up a booking as well. And I'll take McTominay off as well for, uh, for Forsby, the mental man as well. 
Here we go. 12 minutes to win. It's all Bournemouth right now. Going for it. Really, really going for it. I thought we literally just come on and put up a book in. Final change. Uh, let's go ahead and bring on... Tell you what, let's, uh, let's, let's take off Alex Scott, who's not played very well. We'll bring on Tav, and we'll swap those two positions around so they can shoot on their preferred feet and drop battery into CAM. Can we find a late winner? Stoppage time. Final chance for Bournemouth to win it. Gaza, the great Gaza, out to KWP, off the bench, coming forward. Needs a teammate. He's got one in Aaron's. Max. Tav. Tabata! Form of winning out of death. Question is, why do I care? Like, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. Because we're not going to make sixth. We're well behind Liverpool. So we can't make sixth. It's like a moral victory. It really doesn't mean anything. So Pata turns in the rebound. And Bournemouth come from behind to beat Leeds. Twice we come from behind to claim results. Four points from six. We'll have it. But again, I don't really know why we're that bothered about it. Because... It's not going to matter. Like, 7th, one of Newcastle or Leeds are going to win anyway. So it really doesn't matter. Like, you can't you can't have 7th now because, it, it, again, like, FA Cup means that, like, uh, we're 7 points behind Liverpool. I'm not even going to think about that. But Newcastle and Leeds play each other in an FA Cup final. And, again, the, the winners of the FA Cup qualify uh, for the Europa League. They go straight in it. So, actually, having, having said that... Because Arsenal are in the top four, I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm just wondering if it means that Arsenal, who won the Carabao Cup, they'll take the top four, Man City and Liverpool take the Europa League, one of Leeds or Newcastle will take the Europa Conference League, uh, sorry, take the Europa League as well, and then we'll take the Conference League, maybe? Maybe? I don't know. I, do you know, I actually have no idea. I don't think it'll happen. I think that place will go now because of the FA Cup final, but I'm just not sure, you know. I'm just not sure. Right, that's it. That's it for today. Uh, thank you for watching. Some light drama today. Much love to you. Have a fantastic day. I'll return in the next episode with, with three games to go. Um, I'll play the Leicester game off camera at home, 18th place. And I'll tell you what, we, we could win all three of these as well. We could win all three of these. I'll come back. I'll play that Leicester game off camera and we'll come back with the final two. Everton away at Goodison. Oh, oh, they've built their new stadium. They've built their new stadium. Class. Uh, Everton away and then Wolves at home as well. I don't know. Can, can we still qualify for Europe? I don't know. I'm not too sure. We'll find out in the next episode regards. Have a great day. Much love. And I'll see you with the season finale on the Football Manager say where I think Bournemouth still have a chance maybe of getting to Europe. And I'll see you for the finale very soon.